Nothing under heaven is more pliable than water. But when amassed, there is nothing on earth that can withstand its force. That the soft overcomes the hard, and the yielding conquers the rigid is a fact known to all men, yet utilized by none. Tai Chi Chuan applies the power of fluidity to ease man's struggle for existence. Tai Chi Chuan is the classic Chinese exercise for health, self-defense, and spiritual growth. Graceful in movement, slow in tempo, relaxed and fluid in beautiful natural postures, Tai Chi is meditation in movement, practiced throughout the world for its many great health benefits. For many centuries, Western visitors to China have been intrigued at seeing Chinese of all ages engaged in this slow, apparently effortless, calm and beautiful exercise. Emphasizing relaxation, breath control, visual and mental concentration, and slow, balanced movement, Tai Chi Chuan imparts great health benefits, improved posture, circulation, metabolism, and neuromuscular functioning, as well as accelerated healing of disease. The often amazing results of proper practice suggest that in some way not fully known to Western science, Tai Chi can indeed relieve many chronic ailments and impart longevity. The Chinese say that those who practice Tai Chi will achieve the pliability of a child, the vitality of a lumberjack, and the wisdom of a sage. Although Tai Chi Chuan has become popular worldwide for its healthful benefits, it is first and foremost a martial art. The title Tai Chi Chuan means the Grand Terminus Boxing. The Grand Terminus, also sometimes translated as the Supreme Limit, does not claim Tai Chi's invincibility, but it is rather a concept in an ancient Chinese philosophy known as Taoism describing the process by which energy is transformed in the universe. This universal energy is depicted by the popular yin-yang symbol, called the Tai Chi Tu, in which two polar opposite forces are in a perpetual, interpenetrating, and balancing relationship. In the land that cradled the martial arts of the world, and in a culture known for understatement and modesty. The title Tai Chi Chuan also implies that no other art is more refined or profound in its oneness with the laws of nature. The Asian martial arts have been adopted by the West primarily for physical exercise and self-defense. But Tai Chi Chuan is like no other method of martial art or gymnastic exercise. Other Asian martial arts, such as karate, judo, and kung fu, emphasize powerful linear movements, heavy-fisted strikes, and acrobatic kicks, all motivated by brusque muscular compression and dynamic tension. Tai Chi Chuan's movements are, in contrast, circular, relaxed, fluid, and rooted to the earth, but are extremely powerful just the same. Progress in Tai Chi depends not on outer strength, but on inner awareness to control subtle energy flows of the body. Thus, Tai Chi is known as an internal martial art. Whereas most forms of Western exercise focus on outer movements and the development of the body, Tai Chi Chuan develops both mind and body through its integrative principles. Tai Chi practice harmonizes breath, physical movement, mental concentration, and visual focus to cultivate one's internal intrinsic energy, or life force, which the Chinese call qi. The origin of Tai Chi Chuan is shrouded in the myth and folklore of China's antiquity. The most popular theory holds that Chang Sun Fung, a Taoist priest of the Yuan dynasty, sometime in the 13th century, created Tai Chi Chuan when inspired by a dream. Legend also states that Chang Sun Fung was inspired by the agile and fluid movements of a snake and crane in combat to create the Tai Chi method, which emphasizes constant balance, suppleness, and yielding 
as opposed to rigidity, tension, and direct confrontation. The cornerstone of Tai Chi practice is the performance of the solo exercise, or what Tai Chi players simply refer to as the form. Form practice, as seen here, is but the tip of the iceberg in the study of Tai Chi Chuan. Beyond form practice, there is Tai Chi sparring practice called push hands, which imparts benefits beyond good health, notably the mastery of a practical and noble method of self-defense and the transcendence of fear. Masters of the art explain that we practice the form to know ourselves, and then practice push hands to know how to interact with others. Tai Chi Chuan's technique, mechanics, and physiology are rooted in the principles of Taoism, a timeless philosophy from China based on living and acting in accord with nature's cyclical patterns of change. Tai Chi is one method of developing structural sensitivity to all-encompassing nature, which the Chinese call Tao, or the Way. Within every movement of Tai Chi is the principle of yin and yang, which is action based on the awareness of implicit unity within all apparent opposites, positive and negative, full and empty, dark and light, hard and soft. Thus, in Tai Chi practice, one manifests stillness within activity. The entire body is relaxed. Breathing is deepened and quiet, as in meditation. And each movement is performed with full concentration. The body's weight shifts fully onto one leg, which becomes yan, before the empty or yin leg is moved. Once the yin leg is set in position, it becomes yan as weight is transferred to it from the other leg. This yin-yan flux originating in the legs permeates the entire body. Tai Chi movement is rooted in the ground, accelerated by the legs, controlled by the waist, conducted along the spine and into the arms, and manifested through the fingers. This type of fluid synchronization is described as moving like a string of pearls. The integration of mind and body, which comes from diligent practice, eventually leads to deeper self-understanding, a greater awareness of life, and the wherewithal to act appropriately in any given situation. In contrast to the violent machismo image that has been popularized by sensational B-movies, the mark of true martial excellence, according to the Taoist sage Sun Tzu, is to win without fighting. With the clarity of mind that comes from spiritual growth combined with physical prowess, the true warrior can defeat an opponent's strategy before violence occurs. Tai Chi Chuan and the art of war as it has been handed down through the ages is most essentially an art of peace. Tai Chi is a timeless and proven method for self-empowerment that addresses the totality of the human process. With the upper body held alight and cloud-like, and the lower body firmly rooted to the ground, every Tai Chi posture reminds us that we are creatures between heaven and earth, and reveals to us personal power to create our own unique existences. <laughs>